Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on construction. Now whenever you're asked to construct in your exam you expect it to have the correct mathematical equipment to do the construction. This is a ruler, a pair of compasses and a protractor. In today's lesson we'll be learning how to construct a perpendicular bisector, a angle bisector and a perpendicular from a point. So let's start with constructing a perpendicular bisector. Here you'll need a ruler and a pair of compasses. Firstly, you'll need to understand what perpendicular means. Well, perpendicular means where two lines meet, they make a right angle. And bisector means to cut in half. So reading this question, it states that we have to use a ruler and compasses to construct the perpendicular bisector of the line segment AB. And we have to show all of our construction lines. So it wants us to cut the line in half, making sure our lines are at right angles to one another. All we need to do is follow some simple steps. Firstly, ensure your compass is set for more than half the length of the line and lock it. I'll go through this in a second. Next, you put your compass point at one end of the line and then you arc. Lastly, you repeat that process by putting the compass point at the other end of the line and arc and then we simply connect. So let me demonstrate using this question. Firstly, set your compass for more than half the length of the line. Visually setting is enough. Once you've done that, it's important to lock your compass. So you don't alter the distance between the compass point and your pencil. Then we're going to put our compass point at one end of the line and we're going to arc above and below our line segment. From here, we're going to move our compass point to the other end of the line ensuring not to change the distance between our compass point and our pencil. We simply arc above and below. Then our final step is super simple. All we need to do is connect from those points of intersection. The great thing is you can get your ruler and measure to see have you done a perpendicular bisection. Well, looking at our line, it's around about nine centimeters and you can see it's done an accurate perpendicular bisection. Now let's do another exam question. It states that in the space below, we need to use a ruler and a compass to construct the perpendicular bisection of the line AB. Now you might notice that the straight line segment is on a bit of an angle. Don't worry, the process is still the same. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. So let's firstly get our compass and set it for more than half the length of the line. And remember, once you visually set it for more than half the length of the line, lock it. Put your compass point at one end of the line, and then we're going to arc above the line and arc below the line. Now, we're going to move our compass point to the other end of the line, ensuring we don't change the distance between the compass point and our pencil and then we're going to arc above and below. Removing our compass, you can see two points of intersection. So we're going to simply connect. Just like before, let's check to see if we've done a bisection by using our ruler. Well, using our ruler, you can see the line is around about seven centimeters. So this means we've done a very good perpendicular bisection. Just remember, the examiner does give us a little bit of leeway so we are allowed to be a few millimetres out, so don't worry too much about being absolutely perfect. Now let's move on to angle bisection. Firstly, what does the question want us to do? Well, bisection means to cut in half. So an angle bisection means we're asked to cut the angle in half. And to do this, we just follow some simple steps. Firstly, set your compass for more than half the length of any line, and don't forget to lock your compass. Secondly, put the compass point at the angle and then we arc. The next point is where we arc, we have to arc the center and then connect. So let's look at these steps with this exam question. Here the question wants us to use a ruler and compass to bisect an angle at A. 
and we have to show our construction lines. So let's start by getting our compass and setting it for more than half the length of any line. I'm choosing this line. Then I'm locking and I'm going to put my compass point right at the point A. We arc our line and then we arc the other line. Then we move our compass point to where we've just arced, ensuring to keep the distance between the compass point and the pencil the same. Then we arc the centre, moving our compass point to the other arc, we once again arc our centre. You can see we've created an intersection, so all we need to do is connect. What's great about this is we can measure our angle using our protractor and you can see it's around about 34 degrees and each angle is around about 17 degrees. So I've successfully done an angle bisection. So let's have a look at another exam question. Here the question wants us to use a ruler and compass to bisect the angle at ABC and we have to show all of our construction lines. Now here you're asked to bisect an angle within a polygon. Do not worry, the steps are still the same. So see if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. So let's follow these steps. Well, step one states that I have to set my compass for more than half the length of any line. So I'm going to use this line and visually setting it for more than half the length of the line is about here. Locking and putting my compass point at the point ABC. And I'm going to arc here and I'm going to arc here. Now where we've done our arcs, we simply move our compass point to those arcs and then we arc the center. Repeating the same on the other side where we've arced, once again we're going to arc the centre. You can see we have a point of intersection, so all we need to do is connect from that angle ABC to the point of intersection. Just like before, we can check our bisection by measuring. So, I'm going to get my protractor, I'm going to measure our angle ABC. This diagram states the angle is around about 114 degrees. So each angle looks like it's around about 57 degrees. So I'm quite happy that we've done a very good angle bisection within our polygon. And just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect and you are allowed to be a few degrees out. Now let's have a look at our last construction. Here we'll be constructing a perpendicular from a point. Using these simple steps, you'll be able to draw a straight perpendicular line from any given point. So reading this question, it states that we have to use a ruler and compass to construct the perpendicular from our point P to the line QR, and we have to show our construction lines. To do it, we're going to follow these steps. You set your compass for more than the distance between the point to the line, and then we lock our compass. We arc the line, and then, at the points where we've arced, we put our compass point and arc below and connect. So let's demonstrate using this exam question. So getting my compass, it's important that we set the distance between the compass point and the pencil to be more than the distance between the point and the line. So I'm going to set it for around about here, and I'm going to lock my compass. Now, once I've locked my compass, then, Putting my compass point at point P, I'm going to arc the line. I'm going to arc it here and here. Now where I've arced, I'm going to move my compass point to those arcs. And I'm going to arc below. I'm moving my compass point to the other arc. I'm going to arc below again. You'll see I've got a point of intersection. So all I need to do is connect from my point P to the intersection. The great thing is, all we have to do is identify its perpendicular, so I can show this with my protractor. I've got a wonderful right angle, so I've made a perpendicular from a point. 
so let's have a look at our last exam question. Here the question wants you to use a ruler and compass to construct the line from the point P perpendicular to the line CD. And you must show all construction lines. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. So looking at this question, let's follow our simple steps. Getting my compass, I'm going to set it for more than the distance between point P and the line. So around about here. Locking, I'm going to put my compass point at P and arc my line here and here. Where I've arced, I'm going to move my compass point to those arc points and draw an arc below. Moving my compass point to the other arc, I simply arc below again. You can see I've got my point of interception, so I simply need to connect. Great thing is, you can get your protractor and you can check to see have you drawn a perpendicular line, which is what I have done. And remember, when constructing, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. The examiner does give you a little bit of leeway, whether that be a few degrees or a few millimetres. So in summary, you may see a common approach when constructing perpendiculars or bisectors. Lock, arc and connect. And what's really important when constructing is ensuring you do not erase these construction lines as they're classed as working out. And one huge benefit to construction is the ability to check if you're correct by using a ruler and protractor. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next video.